गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम राजेंद्र प्रसाद एंड एट प्रेजेंट यू आर व्यूइंग माय चैनल राज फोटोटेक इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल लर्न हाउ टू कन्वर्ट ए कलर इमेज इनटू ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट कन्वर्सन इज एन आर्ट बिकॉज हियर वी डिटरमाइन हाउ द कलर इज रेंडर्ड इन ग्रे स्केल इफ यू जस्ट टेक अवे द सेचुरेशन द इमेज लुक्स फ्लैट सो देयर इज नो आर्ट इन इट there are different methods of black and white conversion in photoshop and in this tutorial we will compare them one by one almost every camera today has built in option to shoot in black and white the disadvantage of in camera black and white shooting is that during the conversion the camera discards all the color information and turns the uncompressed 16 bit raw file into a heavily compressed 8 bit jpeg format which is a great disadvantage so always shoot in color and convert it in black and white in photoshop I have already opened a color photograph on the desktop for comparing different black and white conversion methods. As you can see that in this image there are squares and circles of different colors and a portrait to evaluate the black and white conversion. First we will see the result of hue and saturation method. Open the layer panel using the shortcut F7. At the bottom of the layer panel in the center you will see an icon which looks like a circle half black and half white this is the adjustment layer icon click it to open and you will see a list of adjustments click to open the hue and saturation adjustment now drag the saturation slider in hue and saturation panel to the left to desaturate the image As you can see your image has been converted in black and white but where are those circle and squares can you see them you cannot because their tonal contrast was same that is why they are converted in similar gray tone and are difficult to identify so it is not an ideal method for converting an image into black and white Second method which we will consider is the use of gray scale. For this open the image menu and in mode click on gray scale. Photoshop asks whether you want to discard the color information. Click okay and your image will be converted into black and white. This conversion is better than hue and saturation as you can see that it is giving better tonal gradation but this method should be avoided because you lose all the rgb color information and your image becomes gray scale the third method we are going to use is lab color open the image menu and in mode select lab color click on window menu and open the channels panel In the channels panel click to select the lightness channel your image will become black and white this method gives a black and white conversion that is mathematically accurate but this method has two demerits it offers no control over the tones of different colors during the conversion and you will have to convert it again in rgb mode and you know that as you convert the image mode you lose some image quality fourth method we are going to use is gradient map the gradient map tool maps a black and white gradient to brightness values of your photo dark areas become black or gray and highlights become white or light gray according to their brightness it is just like the 10 point zone system advocated by the famous landscape photographer ansel adam open the adjustment layer and choose the gradient map in gradient choose black and white gradient and your image will be converted immediately into black and white it gives most drama to your black and white image even better than the lab color as you can see here on the screen and compare it is a quick and easy non destructive black and white conversion but you have no control over the conversion for a quick conversion of black and white you may use it fifth method we are going to evaluate is black and white adjustment This adjustment was introduced in Photoshop CS3. Open the adjustment layer and select black and white. 
Your image will be converted in black and white. Click on Auto and Photoshop will provide you the technically best conversion. You can also use one of the many presets available at the top of black and white panel. These presets are digital equivalent of the filters which the photographer used during black and white photography. I am showing the effect of each preset on the color tones to you one by one. This is the effect of blue filter. D darker green filter high contrast blue high contrast red infrared, lighter, maximum black, maximum white, neutral density, red filter and last yellow filter. In the black and white panel, you will also find six color sliders. You can move the sliders right or left to brighten or darken the respective tones in the photo as I am showing you here. But there is a difficulty in using these sliders. As you start black and white adjustment layer, your image turns in black and white. Now suppose you want to reduce or increase the tone of a particular color, then which slider you will move? Because you cannot see the color now. Photoshop users complained Adobe about this and then Photoshop introduced an exciting feature that is targeted adjustment too. Now you need not to use the color sliders. Click to activate the targeted adjustment tool icon which is at the top left at the black and white adjustment panel. With this tool you can adjust tones in your photo to make them lighter or darker by clicking and dragging the tool in the photo. Drag left to make the tone darker and drag right to make the tone lighter as I am showing you here. The black and white adjustment is very powerful. For convincing you, I am making the tone of all the circles and squares white by dragging the targeted adjustment tool to the right. And again, I am making this time all the squares and circles black. I am dragging the targeted adjustment tool to the left side. This is just to show you the power of this tool. This tool is now the favorite method used by professionals and in my opinion one of the best method of black and white conversion and control over the color tones. But I have seen that those photographers who have used the black and white film and paper generally complain that they do not get the punch and contrast in their digital black and white images which they used to get with their black and white silver halide paper. For those I am showing the last method which uses calculation. This is one of the most powerful method of black and white conversion and you should use this method as a last resort. What calculation does is it takes any two channels among the three RGB channels and merges one with the other using the selected blend mode to convert the image in black and white. For demonstrating this method, I am opening a photograph of an old lady and duplicating it. Now I am converting one image in black and white using the gradient so that we can compare this image with the other converted using the calculation method. Open the image menu and click on calculation to open its panel. Your image will change immediately into black and white. You can do many things to control black and white conversion in calculation panel.
make sure that the source 1 and source 2 are the same that is old lady jpeg click to open the blending mode list here you can choose any mode to get better conversion generally overlay soft light hard light multiply or darken modes give better effect i am choosing multiply here for the dark tone now choose any channel red green or blue in the source one and see their effect on the photograph in the same way experiment with different channel in source two experiment to see which combination you like and select them i am choosing red in a source one and blue in source two you can reduce the intensity of the effect with the opacity slider if you like now when you are satisfied with everything in the result choose new channel and click ok now open the channels panel and you can see your image is in alpha channel select alpha channel and click ctrl plus a to select it and then click ctrl plus c to copy it now go to your image and revert it to original by clicking file revert now press ctrl plus b to paste the alpha channel on this now to intensify the black and white effect you can use the curves in the adjustment choose curves and make this image light and contrasty using the curve as i am doing here now compare this image with the one that has been converted using gradients are you satisfied if you are still not satisfied then perhaps you want to get the lit film effect for getting this effect just click ctrl j several times till you get the effect you like hope you enjoyed the tutorial kindly like and subscribe the channel meet you again in our next tutorial bye for now have a nice day i hope you enjoyed our tutorial kindly subscribe and like our video channel for more interesting video tutorials if you want to get notification about our upcoming tutorials kindly press the bell icon see you again in the next tutorial goodbye and have a nice day